All right, hi. Welcome to Creative Programming One. I'm Jeff Thompson. I'm your instructor and super psyched to have you here. This is going to be really, really fun. We're going to be doing all kinds of code projects together, learning how from the very basics all the way to thinking about interactivity, animation, sound, all kinds of really great stuff. But before we dive into code syntax and uh, drawing commands and all that kind of stuff, I think it's worth pausing for a second and talking about um, this tool, P5JS, that we're going to be using this semester. Um, so P5JS is a uh, code library for the programming language JavaScript. Uh, JavaScript is now completely ubiquitous online. It's used for web programming as well as actually now a whole bunch of other things too. Um, and But P5JS is specifically made for artisan designers. So its uh, primary functions are um, shape drawing commands, um, image processing, video, sound, interactivity, and animation, all of which we're going to do this semester, um, and is uh, just a really, really awesome tool. But like any technological tool, these things don't kind of come up out of nowhere. They're made by people, they have histories, and I think that's worth talking about a little bit so we understand kind of where this comes from. So um, P5JS is actually a project born of another uh, creative programming project called Processing, which dates back to the early 2000s. And um, Processing is a library for the programming language Java. Now, Java doesn't have anything to do with JavaScript, even though it sounds like it, it, it would. Um, but it's uh, a tool I've used for many years in my own creative practice. I also use P5JS a lot. Um, and Processing has some things it can do that P5JS can't. We'll talk more about some of that stuff later on in this class. Um, but the P5JS comes out of this project called Processing. Uh, processing, in turn, comes out of a tool called Design by Numbers, which dates back even earlier um, from a guy named John Maida at the Media Lab. This is a little screenshot of that editor. Um, and so we can see that P5JS is not this tool that exists in a vacuum, but is actually part of this longer lineage of building creative programming tools for artists and designers. Um, it's also worth talking about um, that people make these tools. Um, so Design by Numbers was started by John Maida, who is a designer and um, interested in leadership and creative organizations. He was at the MIT Media Lab. Um, uh, processing was started by Ben Fry, who is a artist, designer, and data visualizer. And uh, Casey Reese, who is a visual artist um, based in California. Um, both of them started um, the processing project at MIT while they were grad students working with John Maida. Um, and P5JS was originally started by Lauren Lee McCarthy, who is an artist and educator also in California. She does some really rad work. We will look at more of this later in the semester. Um, so I think you know it's important to see that lineage. It's also important to recognize that P5JS and processing don't actually just mean one thing. They mean multiple things. So when we say processing or P5JS, we may mean the coding library that we're going to be using this semester. Um, processing refers to actually a couple of other things. So it refers to the Processing Foundation, which is a registered 501c3 nonprofit um, that's dedicated, it's kind of an umbrella organization for these programming projects, these software projects, um, as well as uh, organizing Processing Community Day and um, a fellowship program for folks to help um, build more um, you know, parts of these projects. So when we talk about processing or P5JS, we might mean the foundation. Um, and it's also the software that we use to write our code. So uh, we'll look at the P5JS editor in a second where we're going to be writing our, our projects. Um, but when we talk about P5JS, we may mean this code editor for processing. It's an app you download and install in your computer. Um, and then lastly, uh, processing and P5JS are a community. And I think this is also really key. We'll see a lot of examples of how um, you know, programming languages in particular are the result of people. They're people who embed their values, uh, their priorities, the things they care about into those tools, um, sometimes to wonderful ends and sometimes not so much. 
Um, and uh, P5JS is a great example of that. Um, it's very focused on accessibility and community and inclusivity. So it's not just a tool for artists and designers, but it's also meant for beginners as an educational tool for learning how to code. Um, and we'll talk about more of this um, as we go along during this class. We're going to be talking about open source and free software. This is a really important idea that ties into a lot of um, the processing project. We'll also be talking about um, critical code studies and the affordances that different programming languages offer to people that are using them. And then um, we'll, if you take Creative Programming 2, which I really hope you do, um, we'll be talking about AI, computer vision, and machine learning, um, where these kind of questions become even more critical for us to talk about. Um, so welcome to Creative Programming 1 to P5JS. Um, we're going to start in the next video with a tour of the P5JS editor and then uh, start writing some code together.